This week's Ask Dr. Drury comes from a patient anxious to know if the management of bone disease and myeloma has changed. Are there new treatments or is the use of bisphosphonates uh, using Iridia or Zomeda still the standard of care uh, recommendation? Fortunately, the answer is yes. Uh, we, we still do make those same recommendations with the use of Iridia or Zomeda being the primary uh, recommendations. Now, bisphosphonates, they limit bone destruction. They attack the osteoclasts, which can destroy bone. And so they are very, very useful in the prevention of ongoing bone issues. So this is the primary recommendation. At the start of treatment, it is really important to have a full dental evaluation, and so this continues to be the case. The reason being that if you have dental issues, this can be a focal point for the development of something called osteonecrosis of the jaw, which is a destructive process triggered at the site of areas of uh, bone uh, damage uh, at the bottom of your teeth. So very, very important to have dental evaluation, to have any issues taken care of uh, before you start bisphosphonate therapy, and also to keep good dental care uh, during treatment. Once uh, treatment is started, it should be continued monthly with Iridia or Zomeda for two years is the standard recommendation. Many patients uh, who are diagnosed with myeloma these days do not have significant uh, active bone pain or bone destructive problems. And so it's up to the discretion of the treating doctor to decide uh, maybe to reduce the frequency of the monthly infusions uh, within that two year period. After two years, uh, the general recommendation is to stop therapy. However, if a patient has significant uh, ongoing active bone problems, then again, at the discretion of the treating doctor, it may be that perhaps less frequent use of uh, Iridia or Zomeda can be considered. Now, an alternative to the bisphosphonates is a newer agent called uh, denosumab. Uh, Xjiva is the, is the commercial name, and this is a monoclonal antibody which can be a shot uh, once a month, and it's an alternative to the bisphosphonate therapy. It's primarily recommended for patients who have uh, kidney problems, but it can be considered uh, across the board. Bottom line for bone treatments, Yes, bisphosphonates are still the main recommendation with Xjiva as a, as a backup therapy, uh, particularly for patients who may have uh, kidney issues.